For example, in the year 2015, the Parliament of India passed NJAC, that is to appoint the National Judiciary Ad uh, Admission Committee, that is for selecting the judges. It is uh, some uh, intra, uh, having the body with the political intervention. So, the judges thought it is against the judiciary, that is against the constitution. So, this, this is the 99th amendment act. It is struck down by the Supreme Court of India. That is the classical example for this limitation of the parliament. And third one is parliament cannot suspend the fundamental rights. And as per the Indian constitution, judiciary is the guardian of, that is Supreme Court is the guardian of fundamental rights. If the any law passed against the citizen, it should be interpreted and reviewed and uh, repealed. It has the power by the judiciary. These are the some certain limitations of the parliament. And uh, there are some committees which are formed for the specific purpose. That is, there is a uh, normal committees and ad hoc committees. Ad hoc committees means uh, for specific purpose. It has been constituted by the parliament. It includes the members of the parliament of uh, opposition parties also. This is the things we, we come to know about the parliament. And some little tidbits regarding parliament I will discuss now. Every members of the Lok Sabha is not a ministers. But every ministers of Lok Sabha or Raji Sabha are the members of either house. It may be Lok Sabha or Raji Sabha. These are the very important thing and in case of opposition party, the party should have one tenth of the strength. That is in India we have the 545 members nearly, the opposition party should have 10 percent that is nearly 55 members. If the party holds 55 members only it will become an opposition party. These are the things I came to discuss uh, about parliament, we will discuss uh, other uh, parliament committees later. Thank you.